Hello and welcome, my name is Eric Farewell and today I am not coming to you from Central Florida. Right now I am in beautiful Woodford, Virginia. And on this trip we were supposed to do something I've always wanted to do. Go and see where it all started. Go to Kitty Hawk, fly from the dunes. I've wanted to go my entire life, I've never been there. I've waxed romantic about this place since I was a child. I was so excited to get to go and then our bus blew up. We had to redirect and the rest is history. So when my good friend showed up and he said, man, I really love to go to Kitty Hawk someday. I said, well, yeah, we got to go and we got to take some butt fans. I think we should do this. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, this is my brother from another mother, Corey Robin, all the way out from Utah. He's in training with us this week. He is one of the original flying cowboys and rocks this carbon cub like crazy. World champion stole drag. You excited? I just want to go see Kitty Hawk, man. I know. It's going to be awesome. And flying on the beach with paramotors. How cool is that? Super, super cool. So this guy's <laughs> never been either. It's gonna be a fun adventure. It's like a two hour flight down and we gotta figure out how to put paramotors on In this thing the somewhere. Cub, on the cub, by all means necessary. Let's do this. We're going fine. <laughs> I mean, this is an okay lifting point right here. What if we ran a two by four across, strapped it? and then mounted the motor underneath it. Um, it is pretty small. I'm almost thinking if we could break it down enough. I've got a spot here, but then the wings are gonna be pretty big too. We could easily fit one. Yeah. So we could fit one for sure. Yeah. That would probably be the easiest, honestly, and the safest, because then we're not monkeying around for a couple of days trying to mount them. And then have to Let's just do it. that. Yeah. Let's, let's just bring one butt fan, and then I'll film you when you're in the air. Deal. We'll cruise around up and down the beach. We'll look at the Kill Devil Hill. Do you want to be Wilbur or Orville? You choose. Oh. <laughs> Who flew first? <laughs> I don't know. I think it was Wilbur, right? <laughs> Got the uh, paramotor stuffed into the back, behind the back seat of the Carbon Cub. Fits in really good. Little, uh, little paramotor action at Kill Devil Hill later today. Just gotta go grab the wing, stick that in the back. Good to go. This is gonna be fun. TFRs or anything up right now. I think maybe I'll just climb up and go right over Norfolk. That really is cool. I don't think I've ever seen a naval yard that packed full of heavy shiz to blow big holes in things. All those freaking aircraft carriers, that's amazing. That's crazy. Let in, buddy. Let's see you dock it. I almost want to slow down so I can watch. <laughs> I want to see his docking skills. Like, you, know, you judge your buddy's boat. I think this guy's got it. What do you think? I think he's got it. That is cool, man. I love this country. But we could glide. If we lost an engine right now, we'd glide to that Air Force Base. Oh, yeah, no doubt. I probably wouldn't choose to do that. Very exciting. Holy cow, dude. We're going to Kitty Hawk. I know. <laughs> oh, man. It just feels like... Ugh. It's like it's where it all began. It's where... It, our dreams of flight were finally made a reality, and it just feels surreal. It really does. It makes you wonder, like 117 years ago, what this all looked like. I mean, this is all beach homes and, you know, big old Walmarts and... It sure didn't look like this, you no, know that. For sure, it sure is pretty. All right, uh, so we're looking for the banner tow. I'm not sure, I don't have him on ADSP, and he hasn't made a call in a little while, but I'm, I'm assuming he's gonna be low level and in front of these people on the beach. Most likely 500 feet, that's usually their minimum. Oh, looking at this ocean water, I just kinda, it just kinda hits me everywhere I've been in my airplane. Dude, you were talking about this earlier. If you started thinking about just this trip, not counting all your old trips to the Bahamas and everywhere else, but you've been everywhere in this airplane this year. Right, I mean, the whole Northeast up into New York, I've done, oh, yeah, I mean, and now I'm flying down the coastline. Here's Kitty Hawk off to our right. I have Kill Devil Hill and First Flight Airport in sight. Do you see it? Yep, I got it in sight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this has I'm been, stoked. This is a dream, man. And the I've, best part is we've got a butt fan in the back that hopefully we get to fly. Right? Oh my gosh. Can uh, you imagine? I'm so excited, man. 
All right, I'm gonna keep pulling the power back a little bit, looking for traffic. I'm gonna go ahead and make a radio call. First flight area traffic, Black and Orange Super Cubs about four miles to the north along the beach, descending out of 1,200. We're gonna circle the monument on the right, then enter right traffic for first flight. Holy cow, this is exciting, dude. There's a lot of people on the beach, man. I know, look how, this is amazing. Like, I, I have like, almost like flying into Oshkosh for the first time. Yeah. We're sit like I am looking right now at the actual hill where they did those three flights in that first day. Yeah. It looks. It was three flights, right? I don't remember. I, I will say this though. It looks smaller than I imagined it. Somehow in my head, I know when we get down there, we're hiking up it. We're like, okay, it's a much bigger hill than it looked like. But right, right. now, it's like itty bitty. First flight traffic. Black Horn Super Cubs orbiting the monument currently and uh, then we'll make right traffic for runway three in our second orbit. Dude. Uh -huh. Dude, we're here. We're here! <laughs> this is so awesome. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love the little hiking trails and how they're just so beautifully crafted. I just love how many people are here. Yeah. Look at this. You got people from all over the world coming to, to celebrate this. Dude, we should land and go go walk. Let's, let's do go, it. Let's go walk where Wilbur and Orville walked. I'm in. We'll just get in, do a nice little short landing. Oh, we're a little high, so we're gonna... What's your approach speed? Right now I'm doing 50, it's a little faster. We are currently five miles to the north. We're at 1,500 feet. We're uh, overhead the uh, ocean and uh, transiting south along the beach line. We'll make a clear view. Yeah, so we're doing about 40 now, but 60 over the ground, it's really weird conditions. But we'll still make that taxi way. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Gotta love good brakes. <laughs> right? That's awesome. How cool is this? I know, I'm so excited to see this. Hill Hill off your left, brother. Oh, I see it, I know. <laughs> oh, I love it. This oh, is so geez. exciting. Uh, they even have tie downs. This is like first class. You got a flying cowboy fan here. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Awesome. Must have seen my Instagrams. The ghost has had enough exposure. Yeah, yeah we know what that looks like. Look, 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 look up look, here. Look, <laughs> We're here. This is the first airport in the world. This is like a religious experience. Let's go check it out, you guys. All right, I'm here with Eric Russ. How cool is it that you can fly across the entire country and still meet awesome people? I appreciate I've been uh, wanting to see you guys for a while. Look at that. And I'm a big fan, so. <laughs> Kill Devil Hills. Yes. I gotta go check it out, but uh, thanks for coming and saying hello. Oh, definitely. You know how many books I've read about this since I was this big? This spot. That's what we <laughs> No doubt. It's bigger than just flight. It's the conquest of something greater than ourselves, you know? It's special. The rock you see behind me, that was where they took off. And the rock you see behind me now, that was where they landed. <laughs> what do you think, Corey? I think that it's amazing, you know? Gosh, bicycle makers. It just goes to show you, anybody can innovate. Not only innovate, but anyone can push themselves further than they think they can to accomplish something superhuman. Like when you choose that, that decision, so well said. that like I, I refuse to just be normal. I refuse to, to accept that we can't fly, right? These Dude, guys. I'm getting, I just got chills. We are walking. <laughs> Look at this. We are walking where, where giants walked. It is oh, so surreal. Check this out. First flight, 12 seconds, 120 feet, December 17th, 1903, pilot Orville. Second flight, about 12 seconds, 175 feet right here, 50 feet further on. Third flight, 15 seconds, 200 feet, it's just. <laughs> All right, so we just finished hiking the hill, checking out the first flights, and now I'm gonna go fly a butt fan around the right monument. <laughs> so excited. Corey's getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are gonna fly your paramotor from the airport over the monument, keeping everything legal. Keep it legal. It's a little windy. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. It is. There's a good strong breeze, but there is a little Venturi channel where a, a skilled paramotor aviator could do it. There's a spot down here at the end that looks really good. Okay. So we'll we'll see. We'll taxi down and check it out. Play it by ear. And that is how you store a paramotor in a carbon cup. Love it. You're gonna go flying.
It's on. Kill to the hills. I'm so excited, guys. This is so cool. You're all set. Thank you, brother. All right, guys. We got the butt fan master, Eric Farewell, Ghost, and Kill Devil Hill, Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh my gosh, we are, we're doing it. This is living. Oh my gosh. That's where it all started, right there at that rock. Right there at that rock is where it all started. He's flying over where first flight occurred. Here he comes in for a landing. <laughs> oh. Butt fans and bush planes! Dude, <laughs> I just flew down the exact flight path. This is right by those first four flights. You can't get better than this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode with Eric Farewell, the butt fan aviator. <laughs> we're gonna be doing lots of fun, fun stuff with Corey over the summer. He doesn't even know it yet. That's right. It's gonna be a blast. A rotor, we're gonna accelerate a little bit more. Look at that, feel that, that's fun. That's bumping. There we go, let's get above it now. There's first flight. Next week on The Aviator Show, we head back to Angelfield Manor where the students are ready for toes, taxi practice, and if all goes well, a little taste of their own first flights. If you want to be notified about more great content like this show, go ahead and like and subscribe and don't forget to click that bell icon so we can keep you updated with all these great paramotoring adventures right here on The Aviator Show. Woo!